Choosing the right niche for a YouTube channel is critically important because some of the monetization could be trickier than with a blog. Uh, with a blog, you know, we're going to get ads and that can work. Most sites we can yeah. have some Amazon affiliate, etc. With a YouTube channel, it is very possible to build the type of channel that the only way to monetize this thing is the money that YouTube gives you, which I might say can be quite substantial. You can yeah, earn a lot absolutely. of money just from the YouTube ads. We used to joke about it that it was like, yeah, yeah that's how no, I buy no, no. my Subway sandwich every month uh, <laughs> is with the money we get from YouTube. And then it turned into thousands a month. Yeah. from YouTube, like even with a pretty small channel, it's 60,000, yeah, 4,000 bucks a month um, in just the YouTube ads. But that's also the very, very smallest monetization method for the channel. Mostly it's the information products we can sell, but still it can be a lot. Okay, let's say I'm making a channel about building a shed in your backyard, right? If I make a channel that's just a montage of just, hey, here are a bunch of cool sheds, you know, and we see this kind of video that people are looking time. for inspiration. Um, yeah, it, it can work and you can actually get a lot of views, but that isn't monetizable because, well, it, you can make the YouTube ads, sure, but it isn't monetizable in terms of getting them on a bridge and taking them on a path and selling them an info product, etc. because it's, it's just a transaction. I'm just getting the, the information and I'm leaving. If instead my channel uh, isn't just that inspirational kind of content, but I'm teaching you how to, how to do something, maybe not even building the shed. Maybe it's a, uh, maybe I make the channel about just being the ultimate home repair guy um, or gal. Uh, and that's one of the videos I have. If that's what I do with the niche, I say, okay, I could monetize this in a lot of ways with right. online courses There's, and stuff. Exactly. Online courses, simple, in, you know, plans that you can sell. Yeah. Tons and tons and tons of stuff that you could do. So the point here is, when you're picking the topic and even just your approach to the topic for a YouTube channel, having some idea of monetization in mind is really, really important. And if you're going through this course, building a channel that is completely focused on like just getting views, but it's totally transactional. You're not really sharing any information. You're not really building rapport with people. That's probably, that's not the approach that this, that this training is going to help you to do. I feel like, if you're in a niche that there's just no real potential for an info product, you're really missing out on a Huge. big one, a really, really big one. So I guess for me personally, not that it's the only way to do this, but for me personally, if there was just no potential for, I just can't see somebody buying an info product about this, I would really have some pause about making a YouTube channel about that because the info products are just killing it online. It's just YouTube is a perfect way to sell information products. Now, when it comes to picking a niche for a YouTube channel, you know, with blogs, a lot of times we'll maybe have some caveats, right? There's maybe there's some topics that are just really, really tough. Maybe if it's, you know, YMYL, it's something to maybe steer away from if you're not a doctor or a certified financial planner or, or an accountant or whatever. On YouTube, I just have way less reservations. Mm -hmm. Topics, niches that are just totally overly competitive on the internet, on YouTube, there are thousands of cracks still available in virtually every single niche. Every I would topic. never dream of starting a blog just on how to lose weight. Oh, yeah. it's going to be brutal to try to get that thing to take off. If you wanted me to make a YouTube channel about that, hold my beer or my water <laughs> anyway, uh, like you can do it, right? Yeah. Because you see videos all the time. Do this right now. Um, go on YouTube and search before and after weight loss. Holy inspiration, Batman. Mm. You watch these videos, you'll see videos from a channel with 500, a couple thousand subscribers, the videos that are not well produced. Uh, it's just, you know, kind of slideshow montage, before I was sad and unhappy, you know, right? Uh, and then it shows their weight loss journal with some B-roll of them exercising, right? And they have millions of views. Yep. That is so cool because if, if you're asking me to start a blog about weight loss, yee, it's gonna be hard. And on YouTube, absolutely it can be done. So in a way, that's the formula you're looking for. You're searching yes. high views 
low subscriber counts. Another one that, that uh, we discovered the other day, we were doing an SEO tutorial mm -hmm. and we, uh, you had the example of uh, how to change your name legally. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, and when we looked on, on the blog side of things, it was oh, .gov websites, WikiHow, big websites that had written about this and we just like, too competitive, right? And then we look on YouTube and there's this dinky little channel um, that has very, very it, low yeah, subscribers and a whole lot of... Hundreds of, of thousands of views. And they're even on the Google search page with that video. like. That is, that is an awesome recipe to find when you're doing this, if you can find low subscribers, high views. But remember, that's only targeting the 20%. That's targeting the search traffic on YouTube, which is significant. But even if we aren't finding that recipe of low subscribers, high, count, uh, high view counts, it doesn't mean you shouldn't make it because you can still work on the 80%, which is the big one. Uh, so also look for that kind of stuff. Yeah. So um, I, the other thing I want to warn you about is don't just make YouTube channels focused on hobbies. In Project 24, we sometimes hear people say, oh man, in my niche, niche there are like five Project 24 members working on the same thing. Project 24 members are overcoming the internet. And it's like, no, that's because we are hobby guys. Yeah. We always have been hobby guys. We have a million different hobbies. And so in these videos, we often just use hobby stuff as examples. And so it's our fault. We're kind of pigeonholing people into what you're thinking about. But there are many, many categories on YouTube that can do very well that are not at all hobbies. Right. You know, commercial real estate. You're a medical doctor and you want to, or you're a pediatrician and you want to give tips for parents. Uh, you want to do videos on uh, how to select select your first home. You, I mean, you want to give videos on how to uh, overcome uh, problems with your feet, whatever. I mean, just the sky is the limit yeah. what you're going to do on YouTube. Um, so don't just get in the rut of hobbies. There's so much more out there. Now, you do want it to be something that you could do for a long time uh, because it's sad when you see somebody build a giant audience um, in something that they had a very passing interest in. And yeah. then it's like, now it's making enough money that I can't ignore it, but I don't want to do this for the next 10 years of my life, you know? And so make sure this is something that you can be passionate about, even if it's not a hobby topic, it's something a little bit more dry or whatever. Yep, absolutely. So again, picking the topic for your YouTube channel is actually pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can succeed with virtually anything as long as you take the right approach. And that approach is what we're teaching you in this course.